Yo YouTube, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for today's episode, I have the second sneaker that I ordered from Nike that got mega delayed, almost got charged importation duties despite buying it from a Philippines Nike website. Uh, if you missed the previous two episodes talking about this entire ordeal, I talked about how I was almost overcharged. I talked about how I requested for a refund, how it was delayed. I will link down below to part one and part two. So watch them after checking this video out. But anyway, this I think is the Air Force One Legacy. So when I first saw the picture on it on the Nike website, I was just stumped because it was covered in paper and I couldn't find any nice photos of it without the paper covering. So out of sheer curiosity and because I love the Air Force One, I decided to buy it. And today we have it with us. So we'll unbox it, check it out, put it on feet. Let's go. Now before we get started, let me just give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Rose Gold and Black. Guys, if you're looking for accessories, regardless if you are a guy or a girl, or if you want to give somebody a gift, make sure to check out Rose Gold and Black. They have amazing bracelets, necklaces, and a bunch of other accessories like this bar necklace that I'm wearing right now. If you buy it to one today and check out the link down below, you actually get 20% off and you can even get a complimentary bracelet upon checkout. Uh, just make sure to get one ASAP because it is only until supplies last. So what are you waiting for? Check them out, rose gold and black, link down below. So here we have it guys, this is the Air Force One Legacy, I think that's what it's called. So uh, this, is, this does say here that it is white and sail in terms of color. You have your typical black Air Force One box with the Air Force One like silver logo at the lid. If you pop it open, are you ready? Uh, this is the first time I'm seeing it, as you can see with the paper. One, two, three. Oh, okay. There you go. So this is what one pair looks like. So you have that paper. So am I supposed to wear it with the paper or am I supposed to wear it without the paper? <laughs> it looks nice with the paper, eh? but I'm sure it will look even better without the paper. But yeah, guys, so take a look at that. So it has, says Air Force One, Air Force One all over it. Uh, it does even outline the swoosh. You can see the stitching dito sa gilid on the right side and the left side. And it says over here, Timeless Classic, Keep Fresh. So, I mean, I want to peek. Can I, can I, ah, you know, I, I'm, I'm, are you supposed to wear this with the paper or not? I, I... <laughs> Let me know in the comment section if you're supposed to wear this with the paper on top of it or are you supposed to rip it off? I, I think you're supposed to rip it off but then again, it's... They actually sewed it on top. I mean, I, I'm sure I can take it out but... Huh. Weird. Let's take a look at the other pair. So it's the same, you have the paper covering the top, but you can clearly say, see, just be taking a look at the midsole that they really distressed and kind of yellowed it. So maybe it is to give that vintage look, that vintage vibe to the Air Force One to make it look like it's been around for a while. So especially now since vintage is such a big thing. Even the, the, the half part, it comes in different colors. It's a little bit more brownish if you take a look at the back of the midsole. But yeah, um, what I'll do now is I'll put it on feet with the paper on and then I will rip it off and wear it without the paper on. So this is what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, still with the paper on. How would you rate it? Do you think it's the proper way of wearing this particular shoe? Yes or no? Hit the comment section down below. Uh, it looks definitely unique and it definitely looks different. Especially since you don't see a lot of people wearing paper up on top of their shoes while they walk around, right? So yeah, hit the comments. This is what it looks like without the paper. So as you can see, it is giving off that strong vintage vibe. It, it, to me, to my in my honest opinion, I, I'd rather rock it this way. Besides, I can't make it go back to the previous version with the paper since literally I ripped the paper off. Maybe damaging the shoe for good, how it was originally intended to be worn. But I just couldn't bring myself to actually wearing a shoe with paper on top of it. It just felt weird and it just looked weird. That's probably the intent, but that's not 
who I am and that's not how I wear my shoes so pass on that one so again let me know in the comment section which of the two you guys feel is the proper way of wearing this Air Force One and there goes the paper wrapping tissue paper of the Air Force One timeless classic keep fresh Ta-da! I literally destroyed it. So there you have it. Those are the two looks of the Air Force One Timeless Classic Keep Fresh. Now, if you ask me, uh, I love the look after I took away the paper. You get an instant vintage look. You get an instant almost distressed kind of look with the Air Force One. The, the lower part, the midsole is a little bit yellower but the upper is just on its way there. So if you are into that vintage vibe, if you are into that classic look if you don't want to wear like pristine triple white air force ones and you want to make it look like it's been worn it's been you know uh, it's been through a lot then this is the air force one for you to be honest i'm actually i actually had a lot of fun with unboxing and playing around with the shoe which is not usually what you would get you know with typical shoes it did take effort removing the paper but i guess that's part of the overall uh, product experience. So let me know what you guys think down below. Which of the two you prefer? Hit the comments. As usual, try my best to reply to as many of you as possible. We don't have a Carlo Eats or Carlo Cook segment, but I just want to give a quick shout out to Bose Coffee. Uh, they sent over this, I don't know, like coffee package. Uh, they sent over this premium black cold brew, two bottles. And then they sent over this. Let me just pop it open. Hey, you know, they sent me this really nice coffee package. So we have their single serve. Mount Apo. To those who don't know, Bose Coffee is a Filipino company. Ah. So that's really nice. So we have over here, uh, Mount Matumtum, uh, Sagada, Sagada Single Serve. Uh, we have over here, their Cold Brew, Do It Yourself. Uh, we have their Coffee Mix na Mocha. And then we have, atong dami pa oh. So they actually sent like a ton of their coffee for me to try out. Uh, chocolate powder. And then of course, actually meron pa to biscotti eh, but I ate it already. Ha! <laughs> so anyway, coffee mix latte. So I just want to give a quick shout out to Bose Coffee for the love. Thank you guys for sending this coffee package over. Let me just give you guys a teaser of what's coming up soon on my watch vlog. So if you haven't seen my watch vlog yet, I'll link it down below. It's a dedicated YouTube channel to watches. So probably Monday or Tuesday, the vlog of this will come out. This is the new Kith G-Shock collaboration. So this came out, I think, a month or two ago, and I was able to get it uh, from Taka Shoes. So, abangan yan, guys, the unboxing of this. It's a really nice watch. It's a very looking, different looking watch. Even comes with this really shiny thing over here. So, abangan yan on my watch channel. Uh, link down below if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, please do subscribe to my watch YouTube channel. And there you have it. That wraps up the vlog for today. To all the moms watching this episode, I am uploading this on Mother's Day here in the Philippines. Happy Mom's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. With that said, this is Carlos signing out. Peace, God bless. What's up? Boom.